all right so this is going to be a really simple and straightforward geometry node setup and first of all i am using this splash image for waterfall and i have taken this image from sketchfab from this account ellen this uh, looping waterfall object animation so thank you so much for this so here I have created this simple plane and added this splash texture here and added the alpha to alpha value and I have also added a little bit of blue emission value and then in the settings the blend mode I have set to alpha blend and shadow mode to alpha clip. Alright so now let's create the geometry node setup. So let's add a curve so shift A curve Bezier. And let's scale it up a bit. Control A and apply scale. Now in the geometry node editor, click on new to create a new geometry node. So in the geometry node editor, add a resample curve node. So shift A, search resample curve. Add the geometry to curve and let's give it a length value of about 0.35 now let's add a instance on point node add the curve to points now i'm going to add a simple grid so shift a add a grid Let's give it a point value of 2 by 2 and size 1 by 1 and insert it into the instance of this node. Now if I plug it to output geometry you can see this grid is instanced over the curve. Let's decrease the density a little bit by increasing this length value so about 1.5 and let's scale the size of the grid as well so let me make it about 2.5 and this value again 1.8 now let's tackle the rotation of this so again shift a and add a euler node so align euler to vector and then search for curve tangent node Add the tangent to vector and plug the rotation to rotation of instance. So if I decrease the density even more, you can see these planes are aligned to the tangent of the curve. Now with this grid value, the size x and y we can change the x and y value and this will increase or decrease the width of our waterfall. So from the group input node, I am just gonna plug this empty socket into size y and if you click on this, if you go to the group setting here, you can select it and rename it as width. So now this value is exposed here in our modifier. You can change it directly from here. All right, so now let's add this water splash to our uh, waterfall. So I'm going to use a distribute point on faces node. Plug it between the output. And now again, duplicate this instance on point node here and in this node we are going to plug the splash plane so just drag it from the outliner to our node editor set it as instance and plug the geometry to instance so you can see it is derived onto our grid 
Now this density of the distribute point on phases node, you can control the density of the water. So again, I am going to plug another empty node into this density. And in here, I am just going to call it density. Now, because we are instancing this image onto another instance of grid, so to make it work better, we just need to realize these instances of the grids. So I can add the realize instance node between the instance and distribute point on faces node. It gives you better results. Now I want to plug the distribute point on faces rotation to the rotation of instance on point node. So it follows the same curvature. Now you can just randomize the rotation again. So add a rotate instance node, plug it afterwards. And in here, we get this option of locally randomizing the rotation. So we can add a random value node. give it a vector value, plug it into rotation and just give some random rotation values. I prefer giving a value in minus 2 plus. You can also add the same random value node to the scale. Alright, now let's make our waterfall moving. So for that, uh, come to the very starting of the node setup. And in here, just add a sample curve node. Now, uh, we need two math nodes. So add math node. Change one of it to wrap and shift d duplicate it and change another one to multiply add now plug the multiply add value to the input value of wrap and in sample curve node select factor and plug the wrap value to factor now in the wrap node give the maximum value to 1 and minimum value to 0 and with multiply add, I'm going to use the spline parameter node, which was earlier the curve parameter node. So spline parameter. Plug this factor to the addend. And now this value and multiplier will give us the movement speed. So I'll change it afterwards. But for now to make it moving, just come here and plug the output from resample curve to sample curve node. And now let's add a set position node. Again, plug the output from resample curve to geometry and the position from our sample curve to position of the set position node. Now we want the output of this set position node to be driving our instances. So plug the geometry output to the instance. So this is our complete setup. Now if you move this value from this multiply add node, you can see our waterfall is moving. So both of these values work the same way. So for first value, I'm going to use the scene node. So click on scene time and plug the seconds to value. Now, if you press play, our waterfall is moving. And if you change this multiplier value, you can move it faster or slower. So again, I'm going to use the group input and plug this empty node to this multiplier and name this speed.
So now you have got all your inputs right in the modifier stack. You can change width, density and speed. Now you can simply go to edit mode and just click on draw and draw any shape. So let me delete all this one AX vertices and draw any shape. All right, so this is how I have created this simple uh, setup and uh, this cliff is uh, another simple geometry node setup here and uh, you can watch my previous video for this setup i have created a quick low poly rocks and a bunch of grass and flower and as always this file is available to download for free and uh, you can download it and check it yourself so here is the waterfall and this is the cliff you can just go ahead go to edit mode and draw any shape you want Alright, so I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.